Welcome back to another video. In this video, we will talk about cohort analysis. I will give you an example so that it will be easy for you to understand why do we use cohort analysis. Let's say you have a particular number of visitors coming to your website in a week. And from that visitors, some percentage of visitors return to your website again in the next week. And from that visitors, some percentage of visitors return to your website again in the next week. So all this is measured using cohort analysis. So to make it more clear, let's go to audience and in that we can click on cohort analysis. So this website is new, so you won't find any data here. So I'll take you to my another analytic account. So let's go there and let's check the cohort analysis. So let's go on audience and here I need to click on cohort analysis. So this is for my website nstinfotech.com. So here are the options cohort type which is acquisition date, cohort size you can select by day, by week or by month and the metric is user retention. Okay, How many users your website can retain day by day or by week or by month. Okay, And there are a lot of other options you can select. Maybe you can select page views or maybe user or session but I'll Keep it as user retention and the date range is last seven days, but there are other options also. Okay, so let's uh, scroll down and here if you can see all users 60 users. So by default day zero will be 100%. Okay, so on May 23rd, there were 11 visitors on my website. So day zero will be 100% on the next day, the percentage was zero It means from the 11 users not even a single user has come back to my website but on may 24 there were 13 users so day 0 will be 100% by default and on day 1 i mean on the next day from 13 user 15% of the visitors came back to my website but on day 2 again the percentage becomes zero from this particular user maybe there were two three users who came back on day one but from that two three users on day two there was no one who visited back to my website similarly you can see all this uh, days uh, only on may 28 and there were 16 percent of users who came back to my website it means that i am not regularly updating my website uh, this is a blog website so it means that i am not putting up more blogs on my website let's take an example if I have a YouTube channel, I have subscriber who have subscribed to my YouTube channel and if I put a new video, so it will notify to my subscriber and they will return back uh, on my channel to view the video which I have uploaded. Okay. In that way, this analysis works. Okay. In this case also, it is a blog website. So I should upload more and more blogs. So my user retention percentage will get increased. Let's say uh, if you take an example of a landing page, okay, in, in a landing page, it is only a one page website and there's a form, the user fill the form and that's it. So there is not much uh, that the user can come back again and see the landing page. So in that case, the cohort analysis uh, doesn't work. You can't analyze a landing page, okay, but for a blog website, definitely uh, we can use cohort analysis. So in this way, you can analyze your uh, matrix okay and here you can select by week okay and then you can select by month as well and user retention you can select page views i'll select by days So again on May 24, there were 28 users and on the day 2, it was 2 visitors who came back. So in this way, you can analyze uh, your data. So I hope you understood the concept of cohort analysis and this is it for this video and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and bye-bye.